Speed up your editing and finishing workflow using Smoke with AJA's Kona 3G I.O. card and KeyPro products. Building a production configured Smoke is much more than just the computer. Before getting started, you should consider options for storage, monitoring, and video I.O. Just how you configure your system for Smoke is probably going to end up being based on your preferences for workflow. To ensure reliable video I.O., Autodesk has partnered with AJA to support the Kona 3G for capture, display, and output. So when you configure your system, adding the Kona 3G will assure you that you're covered for video resolutions from standard definition to 2K and that you're ready to work on and deliver both mono and stereoscopic projects. AJA has a reputation for providing great hardware, hardware that really complements the all-in-one finishing tool set and smoke. The last thing you want to be worrying about is how you're going to get video in and out of smoke. Teaming smoke with the Kona 3G gives you a rock-solid configuration for mission-critical production and post-production workflows. If you're already using a Kona 3 card, you might want to consider upgrading to the Kona 3G to take advantage of its faster DMA architecture, which makes it easier to work with today's most demanding formats and timing options, including stereoscopic 10-bit and 1080-60p support. In addition, the Kona 3G gives you 16 AES outputs. What's great about the Kona 3G is that it's totally integrated within the input and output modules of Smoke. Once configured, all you have to do is connect your device and you're ready to capture any of Smoke's supported video resolutions. Let's take a look at how it works. Once you've got the Kona 3G card installed, you just need to go to the Smoke Setup tool from the Autodesk folder within the Applications directory. Here's where you define how Smoke captures video and audio. You can define your video preview and capture resolutions, as well as set up options like VTR emulation. This is where you can define additional devices that aren't part of the standard smoke configuration. For example, to set up the KeyPro as a VTR, you simply add a new device by clicking here. Set your RS-422 protocol, in this case you'd use the same protocol as a Sony VTR, and name the device. Let's be really clear and name this AJA KeyPro. Then you can configure the resolutions and timings that correspond to your project and device. Inside of Smoke, video capture through the Kona 3G is effortless. In Smoke's Video I.O. tool, you have options to capture various frame rates as well as single or dual link signals. And all of these options are available from the Smoke UI, so it's easy to make changes on the fly or to work with projects coming from a mix of various video sources and resolutions. And working with stereoscopic 3D footage has never been easier. Smoke, in combination with AJA's Kona 3G, is the perfect pairing for stereoscopic projects, from capture to output. When working with stereoscopic media, the Kona 3G fully supports dual-channel capture and output, so you can grab the left and right eye simultaneously, or at the end of the job, you can output both left and right eyes in a single pass. Let's take a look at the process for capturing stereoscopic media. In Smoke, you simply set the deck type and then select the 2 times stereo option from the tape type box. Now you're all set. As you capture the left and right eye clips, a stereoscopic clip is automatically created. Then when you load this clip to the desktop, either as a single stereo 3D clip or conformed into a timeline, all you have to do to view your clip is to turn on the Stereo 3D viewing mode in Smoke, either anaglyph or interlaced. So regardless of what your workflow is, you can count on Smoke and AJA to deliver a great performance that won't let you down.